smoking season, you turkeys. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is a Pit Boss. I believe it's a Pro Series 850. But I'll go spin back around real quick. So, yep, Pro Series 850. S for French. Spanish. Serial number. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth module, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I've bought this about a year ago, used it a handful of times, and then this happened. And what this is is, if you look down into the auger, uh, the pellets solidified over the winter. You're supposed to change them out and clean it. I'm not gonna tell who forgot to do that, but somebody did. I'd say no names. Either way, uh, what happened was the auger motor seized up, or the auger seized up, and would not turn out the pellets. This is the firebox. Uh, what's supposed to be here is a little box as the igniter. Pellets drop in, the igniter hits it, and eventually they get hot and it creates your smoke. So with the pellets not coming through, the grill stopped working. So we're gonna move back over here to servicing it. I'm gonna go quickly. Uh, to try to keep this video quick so that everybody can kind of see it and YouTube doesn't make me break it up. So the first thing I had to do, uh, if you can look under here, there's the fan. You don't have to take that off right now, but all the connectors have to come apart. Purple, white, yellow, white, red, which does need to come apart. That's your auger motor. And this is the blower fan. So that, again, does need to come apart. So once that's all taken apart, you next have six screws. One, two, four, five, six. Around the side to hold this grate in place. As you can see, that's the new auger. Everything's new so far. Okay. These are the screws to take it apart. And then on the bottom, uh, you can see it has screws to hold everything up inside. That is this piece, okay? This is held in by a clasp. Pull that out, disconnect the power wire, hook your uh, ground should be hooked up. I didn't hook it up yet, but uh, your ground should be hooked up to bare metal. And then on the inside of the grill, You've got right there, uh, let's see. Okay, you've got one, two, and there's two more at the bottom, make four. And that holds this hopper on to the base. Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna come look at and as you can see the hopper's moving or I should say the auger is moving. Okay, so now after I replaced it Everything's working. Now, for some reason, it blinks when I put the camera on it. I'm not sure why it does that, but it's not blinking in actuality. All right, and you can hear it firing up. All right, that's part one. If there's more, uh, I'll come back and do a part two but so far we're back in operation. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, you know what to do.